What's up guys? Pace Collectibles here with another video. Uh, this is uh, another day uh, at my LCS, trying to pick up some things that I think might be undervalued and I might be able to sell for uh, more on the open market. So um, I'll take you through. So this whole lot was $50 total. So a lot of it was in the dollar boxes. Um, there is one card above the rest uh, that was the best find of the day. And that's going to be near the very, very bottom. Um, actually, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll keep it there. But we'll go through and uh, I'll tell you what I paid and what I think um, it might be worth. And some of these I did look up to see what they are worth. But uh, just because he was in the news, this is the Topps Prime uh, rookie of Julio Jones. This is the thicker stock. Uh, I saw it, it's a little bit different. Um, so I don't know exactly what the difference is between the regular and the thick stock. Um, but uh, this was actually three bucks uh, at the at my LCS, maybe worth about $3. Um, I didn't look this one up, but we'll see. Uh, I think honestly with the way he is um, and also being in the news, I think it's more like a $5 card. So. That was my idea behind that. This was uh, in a dollar box. Um, Jared Kellenick Pro Debut. I know he was just sent down, but um, one of them the other day sold for 12 bucks. Another one was three bucks. But anyway, even if he gets pulled back up or if I sell it now, it just makes sense at a dollar. Um, this is a three to five dollar card. And whenever he's up, I think a $10 card, one of the hottest prospects. So um, found a couple of these. Both were a dollar. I think these are three or four dollars each. White Sox are one of the hottest teams right now, and these are um, the 30th anniversary Topps Chrome rookie uh, refractors. So both of them for a dollar each. Uh, of course, Trey Mancini, undervalued guy right now. That's just the sleeve. That's not the actual card. Uh, for a buck, might be two or three bucks. Um, I saw some guy on a Facebook group that was talking about Jaron Duran, Jaron Duran. So saw this in the dollar bin and thought I'd grab it. Um, I don't quite know what type of condition. Jeez, sorry. I'm trying to zoom in. May get this thing under a magnifying glass, but it looks like that corner might be shot. Um, it looks pretty well centered but that corner and that corner may be no bueno on this thing. But either way, uh, for a buck of a first Bowman paper camo, um, I think this was like eight or $9 card. So either way, if I sell it raw or decide to send it into SGC, it makes sense. Um, I'm going to put, it's a big guy, you may have seen it at the very bottom. But, uh, oh, this I didn't buy. I just bought these. Um, either way, there's not too many baseball cards of Tim Tebow. Um, I am just a big Tim Tebow fan in general, um, but thought these might be just good for a buck just to hold on to. And if so, maybe they're just PC. I need to switch out those sleeves. Uh, again, Back with the Trey Mancini. Uh, this, I tried to clean up the case a little bit. It's clearly authentic rookie auto out of 50. This thing just looks sweet. It really annoys me that they didn't put this over the mag, but whatever. Um, sweet card. This was uh, 15 bucks. And this thing's going, I think the base version was like $18. So this is two of 50. So I'm thinking this is a 20, 25, maybe $30 card. I'm um, just being out of 50 and nothing out of 50 has sold even remotely recently. So, geez, that focus. And, oh my gosh, it's another Trey Mancini. This is the Bowman rookie, but this is the holiday version. And this is also out of 50. Um, I think the base of this was, I don't know, 
maybe seven, eight bucks. And then out of 50 would be a little bit more, but got this for, I think 10 bucks, five or 10. This may have been a five, uh, but out of 50, Ricky Otto of this guy, who's uh, one of the only, him and Cedric Mullins are basically the only shining stars on the Orioles right now. And the Orioles are terrible. So uh, that I felt like it was a smart buy. And we're going to have a little bit of a theme going on here. Trey Mancini out of 75, this was a $5 card selling for 15 to 20 bucks. Oh my gosh, it's Trey Mancini again. And this is the orange at a 99. Got this for another five bucks, 15 to 20 bucks. And then it's gonna ruin it. You may have already seen some of it. Uh, got this for 10, yeah, I think this was 10 bucks. So this is a Spectra RPA. I know it's unlicensed, but sick patch. The auto is great, a little bit there, but this thing is out of 49. Um, but I saw that this, just the base auto of the RPA with no patch went for $11. And I got this for 10 out of 49. So this is, uh, this is a pretty sweet card. I do like the just perfect patch, but the biggest win of the day. I found this in the dollar bin. Can anybody guess what that order is? Yes, I got the egg. Not only the egg, the gold border egg for a dollar. This thing's going for anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks on eBay. I was just digging through the bins, and if anybody knows, lately, maybe the past couple of months, this, for some odd reason, is blowing up. So this for a dollar in the dollar bin um, was my best pickup. I mean, even over the Clearly Authentic, I mean, that is the shining star right there. So... I'll be uh, I'll be putting these things on eBay. Probably probably not the Tebos, but I'll be putting these things on eBay uh, fairly soon and seeing what I get. Um, and I'll give you an update of what happened with the last LCS pickups and what type of profit I'm getting from that. So anyway, uh, if you guys are interested, I'll always put my um, my eBay uh, store link in the bio i put that in everyone so if you see anything that you want to grab uh just jump on there so again thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time